Hello YouTube, this is Jerry D of Tennessee. I'm here to talk about some stocks again today. I hope you're having a good weekend. I uh, hope uh, it's been a good week, profitable week if you're trading stocks. Um, I want all my YouTube family to make money in the stock market. I don't want to hear, to hear about any losses, but it can happen and will happen from time to time. So just depending on the, um, the uh, position you're in and the timing of your position. So Anyway, that being said, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a stock advisor. I'm just an old man in East Tennessee talking about stocks because I like to trade stocks. And um, I encourage you to trade scared, trade informed, and uh, don't, don't invest any money you can't afford to lose because you got to keep the lights on, keep food on the table, and a roof over your head. That's what's important. Keep what's important important, and um, and be cautious with your trading. So um, I like to talk about some stocks that seems to be doing well for me, and um, just bring them to you. So uh, maybe you could look into them. Maybe you might be interested in this, investing in some of these too as well. But um, dark dark pulse is what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, they have sensor technology. They make sensors and electrical monitoring equipment for um, for companies. Uh, if you go out to otcmarkets.com, and I'll leave a link in the description below for this search. You can search for Dark Pulse, and um, you will see that they have a New York address. And they have a website, 800 number, and a contact email address. <clears throat> so, um, so the technology company that's in that's an it's an industrial technology. So, here's their website, and they list their filings. June thirtieth was the last 8K current report. So very professional looking site. I like it. But anybody could throw up a website. Uh, not everybody's going to do the performance. Look at that. They're even showing the price of the stock. The current price of the stock. 17 cents. That's cheap. Right there. That's why you learn how to use the, uh, the um, developer's API for like... Uh, brokerages for E-Trade. That's, how, that's what they use that stuff for. I did a video demoing the uh, API, the E-Trade app API, and that's what, you would, that's what you would use it for. You would implement it into a website like this so you could show your current company stock prices. Or you could create custom website. You could probably create custom um, Watch lists, and you could change a watch list dynamically on a website using an API like that. So uh, they just do that, just give people and companies a, a chance to um, to uh, access their stock information or certain stock information to display it on the, out on the web or pull it into, uh, you can pull it into a computer program and run some algorithms against it and run you some reports if you want to. But anyway... Um, and then, and you see place, places like uh, Stocks to Trade, you know, they've got their their software. And that's how they're, they're hitting a brokerage behind the scenes is what they're doing and pulling back data. If you full, figure out how or how they're, yeah, how they're searching for the data, what their parameters are, you can run the same reports on your brokerage account. If you have a brokerage account, E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, Weeble, all of them's going to have reports that you can run you can look look for certain stocks prices volume uh, just there's a whole huge huge list of options when you run reports off of stocks off and i do encourage you when you open up a brokerage you need to learn all the tools that's available to this that's um given you as a member of this brokerage as a customer of the brokerages there is going to be tools that you need to actively learn how to use so you can better trade your stocks so 
anyway, let's get off of that. Let's move on. We're talking about Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse, they released some news. Let's see. Well, here's the chart. I showed you the chart. They have a very impressive climb in price. I got in right in this dip, okay, as it was going back up. Because I, I, when I saw that it was going back up, I've been watching this for a while. And uh, it did its first climb here, and then it come down, and I'm like, oh, well, the price, the price done dropped. But then when it started at four cents, it started going back up. <coughs> I caught it at seven cents. So I, right now, I've more than doubled my money on this stock. So, uh... I'm expecting the price to go on up. I mean, this is an industrial company. They have been releasing stuff. Let's go on to the what they've released. Dark Pulse on uh, June 30th, 2021. Uh, Dark Pulse Incorporated announces letter of intent to acquire Teradata, Unman, PLLC, a drone-based company, offering multiple platforms including underwater capabilities. So they're going to purchase a drone company, and um, it's also going to be um, the company's going to um, they have underwater equipment. Uh, and maybe they're going to try to tie that into checking pipelines. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking a drone be tough to navigate trees. Uh, hopefully you got a clear area for it to fly, but We'll see. We'll see. My, they'll probably, if they're going to use drone technology, it's probably for technicians to, uh, they're going to sell that for technicians to go out and fly over the pipelines to do a visual check, and you don't have to walk the pipeline, just fly the drone around over the fly, pipeline. Maybe that's what they're going to do. We'll see. We, we'll see. Teradata. So, Yeah, Teradata offers in fully integrated drone-based geo-rectified 3D modeling mapping for industrial applications. So this, this is a technology company that's, I mean, they've got plans and they're moving forward with their plans. So this was uh, June 30th, 2021. They released that. Now, on June 28th, 2021, Dark. Pulse Incorporated signs a team in agreement with Surfsafe LLC to act as the company's safety support and quality assurance auditors. So there's another news story. And that was, again, that was like two days before the last one. So on June 23rd, 2021, Dark, Dark Pulse Incorporated signs teaming agreement with Gray Con Construction Incorporated to act as the company's installation partner. So, and then there's another news story that was launched before that. Dark Pulse Incorporated announced letters of intent to acquire both drone based AI companies, remote intelligence, and wildlife specialists. So, there's three different drone companies are planning on acquiring. So, Maybe they're looking at all three of them, looking at the price between the three, and maybe they're going to go for the cheapest. I don't know. Maybe they're going to look at the best use case scenario, which I hope for a company that's doing um, uh, this kind of um, industrial type stuff, technology, that they would probably want the best product out there. So... Maybe they're comparing all three, looking for the best out of out of three, or two out of three, and or maybe they're going to maybe they'll acquire all three. Who knows? It won't you won't know till it happens. This is a letter of intent. This is not saying we we are moving forward. We are buying this. This is they intend to acquire, but they may be just checking the company out and may not go through with acquiring the company. Uh, there should be another, when they make a decision, there'll be another release, I'm sure, saying which drone company, or if they purchase all three, they may purchase all three. I don't know what the intent, I don't know, um, we won't know till they, um, they really, yeah, till they 
decide where, where they're, the direction they're going to go between the three drone companies, uh, they'll release a news story saying what their intention is, for uh, mainly for the stockholders and, uh, you know, potential stockholders. So it looks like the big focus is probably oil and gas. Because the company, the you know, the thinness of the pipes in the in a previous article, uh, well, no, actually, it was on the d description about us. Yeah, except cookies, that's fine. Maybe. It was OTC markets, probably. I monitored the dark pulse. That's where I read it. It talks about that, about pipelines, the thickness. Of, yeah. If it's not here, it's on the website. And I don't remember where I previously read it. But that's okay. Let's move on. This is, again, I, I think this is a this is a real company. This, this company, there's... You can look at the press releases. They're posting the press releases. So they're actively updating the website, too, as they release the press, you know, the news uh, company events. There's not a whole lot here about that. That's probably if they're going to be at a trade show somewhere, they're probably going to post it on this calendar. So they've got a, a stock page. Oh, the information on the stocks, there's the same graph I just showed you. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It's about the same, it's the same uh, length of time. That's, that's, that's really crazy, but pretty much the same graph I showed you off of Yahoo. So, uh, you look at the core the board of directors. Dennis O'Leary, Dr. Anthony Brown, and Carl Ector. So there you go. I am in this stock. I'm, I'm planning on holding this stock for a while. I've not, I haven't sold any shares since I bought in. And um, I just think this is a, a this kind of thing, and especially with um, EENF doing the drilling, EENF um, 88 Energy may be a customer of theirs. So, um, There's the, there's, there's the main press releases I went over. I think there's one extra one that I showed. I, just, I showed four. So, um, I think it's a good buy. I think it's a cheap price right now. Still, even though that it's went up, even though the price has went up, it's still 17 cents. If, if somebody's wanting to invest in a stock, uh, this is a tech company. Tech companies do come and go, but I think this company's here to stay based on the type of technology they have. They have a specific need that they're going to be fulfilling. It's not like everybody's trying to put out um, for tech company wireless, you Bluetooth ear, you know, Bluetooth uh, ear pods or whatever. You know, it. I don't think you're going to find a whole lot of competition for this company in this industry for what they're doing. They have a unique um, unique product that they sell. So they're probably, maybe, could be the main go-to for that kind of stuff for monitoring, sensing equipment, uh, computer monitoring processes. So um, anyway... I just thought I'd, kind of, I'd talk about the stock for a few minutes and um, uh, 
you know, let you folks, let my my YouTube family go out there and check it out and see if they want to invest in it. And like I said, it's 17 cents a share. You can't beat that. It is, it is a penny stock. It is a real company. They've been releasing news consistently the past month. Uh, I'm feeling good about this company. Um, but again, any investment can be a risk. And I'm not saying this thing's going to be $10 a share in a month or two months. Uh who knows? You won't know till people get trading. It looks like it, it's had a good start. It's had a real good start. I mean, if you look at the chart, I mean, for 2021, uh, beginning of June, this stock has been rocking. I mean, it's it come up, had a dip here. And like I said, I bought during this dip and got in, and I've been, I wrote it up to 17 cents. And I plan on holding the stock. For the duration, let's see what it does. Um, if I go back to the smaller chart, they're not paying dividends yet. That's one of the things I've been trying to look in lately is dividend stocks, uh, because your dividend stocks are going to pay more of a dividend than your interest on your savings account. And it, to me, it just makes sense to roll any savings into a brokerage, into some stocks, some stable stocks now. I'm talking long-term, like I did a video uh, a few weeks ago about Campbell Soup. And uh, I'm still in Campbell Soup. It's it's up a little bit, but, you know, not a whole lot. It's, it's going up a little bit, but uh, it's a dividend stock. And they're going to pay me more dividends than what... in my dividends than what the um, interest on the savings account would pay me. So that's why that's why I'm looking into this kind of the dividend thing. I mean, it's, it's a fact. Banks aren't paying anything on dividends now. And uh, you got to look out for yourself. The government's not going to do it. I mean, they they say they're talking about stimulus, but boy, they're dragging their feet on making a forced stimulus uh, decision. But... Uh, anyway, don't let's not go back. Don't let's not head out that down that door. Um, but anyway, Dark Pulse, I really feel good about it. There's a little, there's chatter on YouTube and Twitter about this company. It's been some for a while, and um, it's looking good. It's got it's like I said, the past month it's been real good. So if you go back the past. That's a, a, that's good. That's a good climb. Up and down, that's what they're going to do. It's going to be up and down, but look at that. A slow, steady climb up. See, that looks like a steeper climb when you zoom out. When in doubt, zoom out. That's what, what they say. You zoom out and see this climb as it's going up. You go back to full screen. And... Six months was what that other chart was showing. That's what they're showing. Six months on their website. Um, MACD's on the, still on the way up. And uh, volume weighted average, it's on the climb up still. They say when the price and the volume weighted average, when they cross, that's when the stock will start dropping. But it's got a long way to cross right now. So uh, it's, who knows what this stock may do in the next month or two months. They've been releasing news, and apparently it's real popular. Uh, it's been a lot of trade that's been going on in the past month about this stock. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I thank you for watching my video. I hope you're having a great weekend. I don't want to tie up any more of your time than I have to. Or, or yeah, I, I just want to make this informative, tell you about this stock. I'm, I'm excited about it, and I just thought I'd, I'd bring it to your attention just in case you want to trade in it as well. But um, I hope you have a profitable week this next week. Hope you got a great weekend this weekend, what's left of it. And um, hope last week was a good weekend as well. I hopefully, uh, I'll see you the next video. and. I'd love for you to smash the like button. That'll 
that'll help with that YouTube algorithm. The notification bell will tell you when I come out with a new video. And uh, I'd love for you to subscribe if you're not a subscri subscriber of the channel. I'd love to have you to subscribe. And uh, and I will be. I plan on coming out with some more of the videos. But um, again, this is Jerry D. from Tennessee. And um, hope the rest of the weekend is a good one for you. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Hey, thanks for coming by. Um, glad you checked out the video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, please click on the like button. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, may God bless you, and I hope you have a good day. And bye. Bella's got to be right up under me, don't you, Bella? Oh, my word. Cloudy day, looks like it may rain. Clouds out over the valley. East Tennessee Valley. And Bella, she's just happy to be around. <laughs>